Okay, so this is Windows 95 running on a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig running from an SD card. And I've already done a video on this and uh, nothing's changed with the setup. I've left it as it is uh, and it is running surprisingly well. Um, but I wanted to try and use it on my Pi Zero 2W, uh, especially because Windows 95 installing into Dospian is quite a hard process and I couldn't really quite work out how I'd done it. I used lots of guides online and eventually got to it. Didn't do a tutorial because I couldn't really retrace my steps enough to be able to do it. Anyway, I've got my Pi Zero 2W if I switch into it here. Uh, so this is running Dospian, not with Windows 95, but just Dospian. Uh, so let's go over to screen capture and have a look at it. Okay, so Dospian is a way of running old DOS games on a Raspberry Pi, and it is a great system. I've got loads of other videos on it, uh, but this is the first one on a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. So if I do CD games, you can see I've got a games folder. If I do DIR, that will show me the games that are there. Uh, so several in there. And if I want to launch a game, so say Micro Machines, CD, Micro, it's better explained in my other Dospian video. I go through more about the commands and things like that. Um, but again, DIR, and we can see that the EXE is micro. So if I do micro, that will launch. Battery. And I can turn on my speaker because there's sound with this. And obviously there was a password back in the day. And I can't remember what keys I did. I think it's Q, A, O, and P. No, it must be, oh, A, Z. And as you can see, Micro Machines runs absolutely fine on this, nice and fast. See if I can get overtaken to the start. Oh, it's only the first level, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, second. So if I press escape, you can see we can quit out of that. And uh, if I want to go back, CD space dot dot, so back in the games folder and have a look at what else is there. I did have to change the resolution. I've been using this at a lower resolution because Duke Nukem 3D doesn't really work well in it, but my screen capture device didn't like it. So I'll have to do the Duke Nukem bit uh, from my phone recording it rather than the screen capture. But let's go through a few more in here. Uh, so CD SM2 uh, and SM2 is the launch. And I think it's cursors for this. Yeah, and space is fire. This is like a thrust style game, love this sort of game. Oh, you can see it's uh, telling me what direction it's going in. But you can see it's very responsive. The Pi Zero copes with it perfectly because obviously Windows 95 uh, or DOS games even uh, used very little RAM at the time. So Commander Keen. So Keen 4E. I think it's probably cursors on this. Don't worry, it is a better game than this. Yeah, this bit's a bit more like it. Oh, that's the gun. So yeah, control to jump. And you can land on the ball. And we can shoot things from there and we can also get more objects higher. <laughs> Anyway, you can see that's working fine. What's going on? That's better. Here we go. Look, so we can use the ball to navigate around. Oh, and drop down there. Theme Hospital was a great game back in the day. And this uses mouse control. But this also, the graphics I think look really decent on this. Uh, and, you know, if we if we purchase a desk and purchase and we can pop it down is it right yeah right click to move it around that let's pop it right in the front and let's hire a receptionist let's go with this one here there we go so i've just restarted because quitting out of theme hospital seems to restart the system good opportunity to show you the setup so raspberry pi zero 2w you can see i've got a pi Maroni fan shim on there I'm overclocked to 1200, I'll show that later on. Uh, running from an SD card, 
Uh, you can see that's the HDMI cable. I've got my USB hub. I've got another one of these I've just ordered off Amazon just to test that it works the same with four USBs on it. Uh, and this is like an on-the-go, so the power goes into the top here. And then we've got a joypad plugged in. This is an Xbox 360 wireless controller. And also I've got my mouse and keyboard plugged in, uh, which is my Logitech. But this is the Xbox controller I'm using. And uh, I haven't had to do anything for setting up. So I'll show you a game that works with controller. Okay, so CD games, uh, DIR, and need for speeds. And... TNFS to run and you can see here that the controller is uh, going a bit sketchy but if I move the analog control stick around it's fine press a button and that that's now in joystick control and I seem to be able to navigate all the menus on this I can change the camera with the keyboard so C changes the camera Battery, 30%. Oh, and I forget I've got to use gears on this. Oh, no sound on this one at the moment. I probably need to configure that separately. But you can see that the joystick is controlling it fine. Let's go into a corner. Oh, oh. It's weird because uh, up on the joystick is accelerate, and obviously that's not how things are done these days. But yeah, speed seems to be all right. So let's try a bit of Doom. So all the menus and everything work nice and fast on this. Uh, everything is very swift and smooth, as you can see. Uh, what's it? Control for fire. Pick up some armor. It does run surprisingly well. I didn't need an overclock to run this well. But Duke Nukem does. There we go, so you can see, nice and fast, works really well, oh, something's still there. This is easier with the mouse. Oh. <laughs> And let's exit out of this uh, and I'll show you the overclock that I'm using in the settings. And I'll change the settings for Duke Nukem because it's definitely faster with these other settings. So S for shutdown. And let's take the SD card out of the Pi Zero and pop it into my Pi 4. Oh, and I need my mouse and keyboard. There we go. Let's switch back into screen capture. Okay, so I'll show you the overclocking settings I was using. Uh, so we go into the boot partition on the SD card and config.txt. And near the bottom here, you can see here, uh, arm frequency equals 1200 and over underscore voltage equals 3. Uh, I can overclock higher with Raspberry Pi OS, but I found that with Dospian clocking, well, uh, at 1300 it was crashing. I haven't tried anything in between 12 and 1300, but 1200 does seem to work really well. Uh, the other thing, uh, so I did to improve performance, especially for Duke Nukem, is this here, HDMI group equals one. So if I delete that hash and also the other, this will enable HDMI group equals one and HDMI mode equals 14. So let's just save that. You don't need this setting, but it improves performance on some games. And if we close that down, and let's just show you what that setting does. So if we go into the Raspberry Pi documentation, uh, and look for HDMI mode. This is so much better now, it's been updated. Uh, so scroll down and you'll see, so these are all the HDMI modes. I did try HDMI mode one, which worked really well for RetroPie on the Pi Zero 2W, I got much better performance, but uh, it's too low for Dospian and the menus just don't work. Um, and it, and it, yeah, it's, it's not as reliable, uh, but 14 was good. So 480, 60 hertz, 4x3 with pixel doubling uh, seemed to be the best one. I mean, I haven't tried all of them, but it seemed to be the best one for me overall. So let's show you how to install this. Uh, so if you type in Dospian, 
There we go. You'll find Dospian Carmelo's blog. Click on that and you need to scroll down. Uh, and there's a donations tab in here if you want to give anything to this. And there's a Facebook group, uh, which is where I got the information of how to get it to work with the Pi Zero 2W. Uh, so you can see here, it says that it's compatible with these following models, uh, and it pretty much mentions all the Pis. Uh, but if you scroll down, it says the download is just for the Pi 400 uh, and the Pi 4B, but uh, it does work fine with the Zero 2W. You just need to make a change, which is the one I found from the Facebook group. I tried to find the post, um, but I couldn't find which one it was that gave me the information. It was this one here, I thought, um, but I've just flicked through it and I couldn't find the actual comment. Uh, but this had a load of information uh, and this was where I first saw that it was possible to run it because I thought, because I tried my older version and couldn't get it running, I thought that um, it wasn't possible on the Pi Zero 2W at this stage. But uh, in this thread, I did find out that it was possible. So once you've downloaded that file, uh, you'll need to unzip it. So if I go into Downloads folder, uh, now I've probably already deleted the zipped file. Yeah, so you can see here, Dospian, this is an image file. But when it's a zip file, if you right click it and uh, select Extract here, it will extract it as an image file and you can see what it looks like there. Uh, and then we launch Imager, Raspberry Pi Imager, or you could use Belena Etcher, choose OS, Custom, scroll down, and you'll see Dospian there, there you go, Dospian, and open, obviously pick your SD card or USB stick and write the image to that. Once the image is written, uh, it will come up like this, uh, so root FS and boot. If you go into root FS, this is the bit we need to change. And home, pi, dot dosbox, and the dosbox-ece.conf, double click on that, do a search, for core, so control F and type in core, because it's quite a big document, and just hit next to search in the document, and there you go. So where this says core, actually I did that wrong. Uh, so it uh, comes up as dynamic, uh, but you would need to change it to auto. So auto, I don't know why I put core in there, uh, and then hit save. And you need to do the same to the other one, so let's click on that. Again, control F, type in core. Because I was searching for core, that's why I did it wrong. Uh, and you can see this says auto. Uh, so it starts off as dynamic. And obviously, if you're going to use it for the Pi 4 or the 400, you just leave it as it is. You don't have to do anything else. Uh, but you need to change that to auto. And file and save. And if you want to get any games uh, or anything onto it, uh, if you go into the root FS partition and home and Pi and Dospian, you can see you can put programs in here, uh, unzip them, uh, and then put the, the folders and the EXE files in there and you can launch them. Uh, as I say, I've got another video on Dospian, so I won't go through it on this. It's more explained in that. But we go back to games. Uh, you can see all the games are in there. So if I wanted, say, Doom, you can see the exe file is there to launch it. So let's close this down and uh, launch it again with these different screen settings to show you how Duke Nukem runs. Okay, so I've got my SD card back in my Pi Zero. So let's start up Duke Nukem and have a look at that. So the menus are quite sluggish on this, so you have to press and hold the button sometimes to get it to work. Um, but the actual gameplay itself seems pretty decent. So I've got it on a higher setting at the moment just so it looks better. And it actually runs alright. Um, there are definitely some slowdowns on certain things. It doesn't run as well. So on certain bits, it slows down a bit more. You can see the detail levels looks reasonable for a Pi Zero 2W anyway. It slows down a bit when this guy comes out. Nice sound effects on the flames there.
and there's loads that goes on in here and it doesn't cope with it with this as well I think you can see that it, it actually looks I think it looks pretty decent for what it is but if I want to improve performance oh oh I slowed down a bit then so if you did want to improve performance on it If I press escape on here, I can change it in the options. And I can lower down the detail levels. But you also have screen size as well, and you can make that smaller. Uh, and that definitely improves performance. So if, it, if the gameplay gets very fast, that's probably what you need to do. But as you can see, it does look a bit ropey like this. But it runs way, way quicker. So you choose which one works for you yeah much much lower graphics anyway i hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe